Hello! We are doing something just a little different as winter weather can be unpredictable in the mountain passes on our bikes. So we decided to do a Tesla camping trip to look at some local favorites and ghost towns in the U.S. and areas to ride for next season. We will explore the Hope Princeton Slide, Bromley Rock and the 1907 Railway Red Covered Bridge in Carameas and we have some drone footage in each place for a nice bird's eye view. We camped in our car in Rock Creek for the night to try something new, and I'll give you the lowdown on how that went as well. I hope you enjoy this adventure, and I'd love to earn your subscription. On the morning of January 9th, 1965, this enormous slide swept into the valley bottom and up the other side and was triggered by two earthquakes. And today is the rubble and the destruction that remains. stop is Bromley Rock, named after John Halton Bromley, a former prospector for gold in the 1880s and farmer in the area. This well-known favorite is a spot for floating, camping and canoeing, and it's located between Princeton and Headley on the stunning Similkameen River. The Provincial Park was established on March 16, 1956 and is a traditional First Nations fishing site. And this would be Jonathan's favorite part about traveling, snacks. <laughs> A fabulous little stop at Bromley Rock. And a fellow down there enjoying the beach. What a perfect day. Built in 1907, the Ashnola Bridge is located on the west side of Carameas, which carried the Great Northern Railway and was first used during the region's gold mining era, and later becoming part of the Kettle Valley Railway as an important link to the Headley Mascot Mines. In 1926, the bridge was covered and painted to help protect it from the weather, and soon became known as the Red Bridge. The 942-foot Red Bridge Railway tracks were removed in 1954 and it was open to vehicles in 1961. This bridge is the sole survivor of five bridges that cross the Similkameen River on the railway line starting from Oroville through Carameas and reached Princeton in 1909 for passenger freight and mine service. And good morning from Rock Creek. We had our first night camping in the Tesla, which was actually pretty fun. Um, we didn't put it on camp mode, although it got too close to zero last night. We were pretty snug. We actually have a little system where we have the blow up air mattress, and then we added a two inch um, high density foam on top of it, which gave us 
an absolutely soft uh, bed. We fell asleep about, I guess, eight o'clock. We went to bed really early and we slept till 8.30. So it was pretty nice. Got up, had a shower, stayed at Kettle Valley RV Campground and um, got a coffee this morning. And now we're sitting here at the Flow app charging and then we'll continue on and go take a look at some ghost towns. So Johnny, what did yes. you think of the camping adventure last night? It was quite comfortable except for the monkey that kept jumping around in the bed last night. <laughs> Took me a little while to get absolutely comfortable. Uh, one thing that I had to figure out was making sure that I put that front seat of the car absolutely forward and then um, and, and tilting the back seat forward as well. And it really made a difference to throw my backpack underneath and get myself even propped up a little bit. One thing in the Model 3 is it tends to not lay absolutely completely flat, which for me is actually really good. I just needed that little bit extra room to stretch out and get my knee up. Because when you do sleep, you have to put your legs underneath. And you'll see here, it, it kind of goes through the hole in the back and we really have a lot of bedding here so it uh, does make it a little extra plush and that back shelf works excellent for putting your electronics and your snacks and your drinks on at night and the roof actually stays really nice and dark you can see the stars through the side but the roof does stay pretty dark a little bit of water on the inside with condensation last night because again we had the window open it was quite cold and um, all drying out a little bit now, but it was pretty fantastic. And we even had the fireplace on this for a while. So in the back of the car, you can see the end of our mattress and the bedding and pretty massive foamy. And then there's actually an air mattress underneath as well. So it was pretty crazy comfy. And then we store our backpacks and our goodies here in the back of the car. And you can actually see where your feet will stick through to the front. I'm gonna open up the frunk and show you that I have a little cooler with some food. We have an extra sleeping bag, <laughs> my vacuum, and tire repair kits and whatnot all will get stored pretty easy up here. We just came across the border at Midway and it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous country, especially today. Love the colors of the fall. We will continue our trip on the next video as we explore some amazing ghost towns between Midway and the Nighthawk Crossing in the U.S. Thank you for watching, and if this is your first time visiting the channel, my name is Lisa, and I truly appreciate your support.